Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on split half reliability and the Spearman Brown coefficient in SPSS. In counseling assessment, when we're evaluating an instrument, we oftentimes look at the reliability of the instrument. And reliability is a measure of internal consistency. One of the popular reliability statistics is Chromebooks Alpha. However, in this video, I'll be demonstrating another relatively popular method, which is the split half method, and specifically the Spearman Brown coefficient. So, taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data editor, you can see I have scores from six items. So, these would be scores from six items on the same instrument. And let's assume that these items are measuring some type of career aptitude. So the items would be related to a skill or maybe a few skills related to a specific career. So a higher score on one of the items would represent a stronger aptitude to the specific career and a lower score would represent a weaker aptitude. And you can see that the minimum value is 1 and the maximum is 10. So we want to assess the reliability for this instrument based on the scores that we have available. So we have 20 records and we have the scores for each of the six items. So I'm going to go to Analyze and then scale, and then reliability analysis. This is what the dialog looks like by default. You can see the default model is Chromebooks Alpha, which I mentioned earlier. I'm going to switch this to split half. So the model will be the split half model. And for the first example, I'm going to load all the items in as they appear here, in the order they appear here. So hold down control and select items one through six and move them over together. So the top item is item one and the bottom is item six. Under statistics, I'm really just interested in the descriptives for scale. So that's all I'm gonna check off here. I'll click continue, then okay. And you can see I have 20 valid cases no cases were excluded. There were no missing values here. And the next table has the reliability statistics listed. So you can see we have a part one and a part two. And the Chromebooks Alpha is returned for each of these parts. And you can see here for number of items, of course there's three because we had six items total and this is a split half. So this can be three compared to three. And notice the superscript here is A, and next to the part two number of items value, the superscript is B. And you can see the items are one, two, and three, and four, five, and six. That's because I loaded them from one to six. So it took the top three that I loaded in, and it's comparing them to the bottom three. So you can see the Chromebooks Alpha for part one is uh, 0.906 and for part two, 0.692. And then it returns a correlation between forms and that value is 0.701. Now this statistic, the correlation between forms, can be obtained by taking the average or the sum of the first three item scores and then the second set of three item scores and computing the correlation. So if I move here to Excel, you can see I have the same fictitious data loaded in this Excel worksheet. Items one through six, all the scores. So first I'm gonna take the average of the first three items, so the equal sign, average, and then I'm going to select item one, two, and three. And then hit enter. And then for part two, 
I'm going to take the average of the second set of three scores. And that'll be 4, 5, and 6. So if I autofill these all the way down for all 20 records, and then I move here and take the correlation, that would be C-O-R-R-E-L in Excel. And I put the averages for part one in the first argument and the averages for part two in the second. You can see I get 0 0.701, the same result that SPSS generated. If I were to take the sum instead, move over here and sum, and then the first three items, and then for part two, the sum of the second three items. the second set of three items, four, five, and six. And again, autofill that all the way down. And then calculate the correlation here between part one and part two. I get the same result. So moving back to SPSS, we can see that the 0 0.701 may not be ideal because this used half the items and compared it to the other half. And the Spearman-Brown coefficient compensates for this. So with the Spearman-Brown coefficient, we would be getting a reliability value that theoretically would represent the reliability for the full test and not for half the test. But you can see there are two rows here, equal length and unequal length. In this case, the values are identical, 0.824, but they're not always identical. We select equal length, we'll interpret this Spearman-Brown coefficient when the number of items is even, and unequal length when the number of items is odd. In this case, we have six items, which is an even number, so we would interpret equal length. 0.824. This table also provides the Gutman split half coefficient, and you can compare that value here, 0.814, fairly close to the Spearman Brown coefficient in this case. So, what I've done here is not an unusual way to conduct the split half, to take the first half of the items and compare it to the second half. But the most popular way is to compare the odd and even items. So I move back to analyze and I go back to scale the reliability analysis. I'm just going to move the items around so that items 1, 3, and 5 are the first three items and 2, 4, and 6 are the second three. So this is odd compared to even. So the order in which we load the items has an effect on the value that you'll see for the uh, correlation between forms and the Spearman-Brown coefficient. Under statistics, of course, scale is still checked off and that's fine. Click continue and then click OK. And you can see here we have a different result. The Chromebooks Alpha for part 1, 0.745, for part 2, 0.791, and the correlation between forms, 0.829. So again, if I go back to Excel, I have already calculated the part one and part two sums in this case. So if I select this one, for example, and move back, you can see that's one, three, and five. And if we take a look at the part two, again, just move to the left, you can see that's item two, item four, and item six. And I've calculated the sum of the odd and even items, and then taken the correlation uh, just as I did here for these other examples. And again, we have 0.829, which matches the correlation between forms here in the SPSS table. The Spearman Brown coefficient in this case, and again, we're still interpreting equal length, is 0.907, so a bit better when looking at odd 
compared to even than when looking at the first three items compared to the second three items. And then the Gutman split half coefficient again is fairly close, 0 0.903. So if we were to compare this to the value for Chromebooks Alpha, we would see that the Chromebooks Alpha value is very close. If I go back to Analyze, Scale, Reliability Analysis, and change this to Alpha, it does not matter what the order of the items would be for Chromebooks Alpha. I could have these in any order, and it's going to be the same result. I click OK, and you can see it's 0.878. So fairly close to the 0.907 and to the 0.824 that we had for the first example. I hope you found this video on split half reliability and the Spearman Brown coefficient to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.